Okay, so y'all know we had to do it. We looked at Kendrick Lamar's crib. Why not look at Drake's? What they call this young uh Kendrick's crib now? Nah, let me chill, let me chill. But let's go ahead and look at, let's get into it. Reacting to Inside Drake's $100 million Toronto Mega Mansion with Private Club. Welcome back to another episode of Zillow Gone Wild. Today, we will be exploring Canadian rap icon Drake's $100 million mega mansion. In total, the property is 50,000 square feet and features an NBA-sized basketball court, indoor That's not NBA size. music studio, private lounge area. It might be NBA length, but I don't know. It ain't look. Located in the I'm tripping. Neighborhood in that doesn't look a little bit Canada. small for NBA size, though. Mega mansion known as the Embassy. He called that joint the embassy. I call it, yeah, that's what it need. A nice little estates. Ferris Rafali on the design. Come on, okay, Ferris. Think I need a day up. I'm about to call Ferris up. It's think I need a day off. I'm about to call Ferris up. But I mean, y'all know what I was trying to say. I love that type of wood. Like when they put that wood. Yeah, that type of wood on the floor, on walls. As Drake put it, that's how you know you're living in some luxury. In my hometown, I wanted the structure to stand firm for 100 years. I wanted it. Nah, I feel that if I built that house like that in my hometown, like yeah, this this house is gonna be around it for time. It's gonna be a timeless, so it had to be timeless a timeless estate. Strong. From the outside, the mega mansion has an architectural design similar to Beaux Arts architecture with a contemporary feel to it. It's only got 12 AC units. <laughs> House forever cool. Mansion, with exterior profiles that are more minimal and the lines being cleaner. Outside I do the like house, that. You will find the lines are very sweet with massive walls and minimal the property. Near the front of the house, there is a motor court and terrace area. Given how many guests Drake may have, it makes sense that he has chosen to build out a large motor court area in the front. Inside the embassy, you will yes, find sir. an official NBA size court. That is yes, sir. Drake's lifestyle brand, October's very own OVO. OVO. The OVO court, court is hard. A stunning 21 square foot skylight in the center, showcasing the level of detail that went in. And he put a skylight in the middle. I never knew it had a skylight. I could, I've seen clips of it. And where you watch any games on the court from. And then he got the viewing room. Game or just pick up basketball with Drake. The embassy has it covered. Walking through the main entrance, you will see two cause sculptures on each side of the door. Are, are those custom cause? There is escarpment light wood and Nero McQueena black marble coming all the way from northern Spain. I didn't know Drake rock with cause like that. You know, everybody like cause, but I didn't know him and Drake was, you know, locked in. By himself. That's a tough chandelier. The chandelier takes inspiration from Lobmeyer's iconic metropolitan chandelier in New York City. Moving on to the living room, which is over 44 feet high, you'll see in the very corner a stunning piano. That was a nice chandelier in there, too. Maker Bosendorfer, this concert grand piano features custom designs from Ferris Rafaoli and Takashi Murakami. Mm. Given Drake is a musician, it makes sense that he would not just want any piano in his house, but a handcrafted quality piano with an authentic design to it. A few steps from the living room, there is a trophy room that showcases the five Grammy Awards he's won and any other music awards. Uh oh, wow. The kitchen area on the main Susie floor sliding on a dinner. huge white marble space and a mix of white and dark brown His house is cabinets. beautiful. This is a beautiful ass house. That's not even, that's not even cap. Eight chairs surrounding the table. Enough to fit 50. Like this home, anybody this is a dream home for anybody. You will see walls of basketball jerseys that have been collected over the years. And this is just in the hallways. Part of the property is the bathrooms. When you open the door, the toilet automatically opens on its own and begins playing soothing sounds. That's tough. Then lights up with neon lights, and while you're doing your business, it plays Tupac's 1996 Hit 'Em Up song on repeat. Next up, we have one of the most iconic rooms in the entire house: the 3,200 square foot master bedroom suite. Mm. Surrounding the master bedroom, there is an additional 1,100 square feet of covered terrace space. Having come from Ralph so he can go outside with it. That's so. The bed is known as Grand Vividus. The bedding includes an Alexander mm. McQueen hummingbird tapestry produced by the Rug Company, and the nightstand features mother of pearl inlays. As Drake mother of pearl inlays, not even sure what that means. From the world at the end of the night, and where I open my eyes to seize the day. 
Behind the bed's headboard, bedroom is got a lot going on. Bar on the other That's on too, to too fancy for me. I know I like my chill little set up like I got in the back. Faceted black marble that was carved from a now that is a nice bathtub. Brought into the house by a crane. The vanity of the bathroom. You know that joint heavy. Nero Marquine black marble and is stunning to look at. Drake's two-story closet is also huge, adorned with rock crystals, amethyst hardware, and oh, a couch wow. polished with nickel studs. Whether it's a sneaker collection, why he got Birkin chilling in his closet, or a set of high-end Hermes Birkin bags, all his luxury pieces he can display in his closet. Just collecting bags. Up, Drake said he really meant that. He collecting bags for a wife that he only got, I guess. And gather your thoughts, and the closet makes you want to talk to yourself while you're getting dressed. Even going floor to floor in the embassy, you can see some beautiful marble stars. That's what that hard work gets you. Rafaoli that are suspended from what if one of those chandeliers fall on you? Like, are you getting pilled? Like, is you gonna get stabbed up? Well, you probably are. That's probably why that never happened. Gold bar area that is surrounded by yellow. Like that one, like it could fall on you, and you might be okay. Them other ones. This room has a high luxury feel to it, and is perfect for hosting events. When it comes to making yeah, I know music, the parties that the embassy be, be lit. Studio, which Drake feels is a cross between a 1970 recording studio and the private club Annabelle's in London. From the star-covered ceiling to the brown stone that illuminates the room, this room can best be described as another gem in the embassy. In the embassy, you will also find an indoor pool made with black granite and surrounded by purple neon lights. Now that's a an indoor pool from room. black granite. Surrounding the pool, there are custom designed couches made from ostrich skin and like his whole house is set up to just be like a cool vibe where you can relax and hexagonal piece. Do what you you can participate in what they got there, or you can just watch types. I know the parties be the parties probably be lit. No diddy. Property is also quite nice, featuring a massive pool that is near the size of a lake. There are also multiple balconies on the second. Before they got a house on the lake, the pool, I didn't know he had a lake. Space, and a patio with couches for when guests visit the house in the summer. To have complete privacy in the backyard, there is also tall bushes surrounding. That's the only thing about his. His embassy, this mansion, like the neighbors are close. Massive the walls are surrounding the property. But I figured the walls were high. There is three security guards providing Drake with 24 hour security, given how well of a public figure he is. In twenty only three, there was even an incident where a woman carrying a knife. I feel like that's only need five, you know, like four on the perimeter and then one in the crib. So maybe they got one in the back, one in the front, one in the crib. When asked about the embassy, Drake said. It's overwhelming high luxury. That message is delivered through the size of the rooms and the materials and details of the floors and the ceilings. I wanted to make sure people can see the work I've put in over the years reflected from every vantage point. It's clear that no that is very was true. There, and the you know that that's that work. Building and designing this house. Which part of Drake's mega mansion did you like most? Was it the indoor pool? I don't know. Which part did y'all like the most? Honestly, it's hard for me to decide. The whole mansion is nice. For real, for real. I'm going to have to say the decor and the, the decor, the pool, and the court. Those are all like the the top southern points for me. Because the whole thing was just like a nice little luxury, lavish estate. How like we finna be living? If not, we definitely about to be traveling and experiencing that joint as the channel grows. I'm gonna show y'all on them the trips I get to go on and take y'all. So yeah, we reacting right now, but in the future, trust me, we're gonna be living those experiences. So reactions right now, lived experiences coming soon. It's your man, it's Mala Badan, aka CT. Thank you for tuning in to this video. We got more on the way.